Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, third video. We're going to have a look at the weather next week to 10 days for today's third video. So day 10 will take us to the 27th of June. We'll be able to extend that. Beyond that, we have extended GFS and ECM on Summer's favor for the weeks. And we'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. So that's going to take us uh, into the, uh, towards anyway, uh, the middle part of uh, July now. Uh, right, so I'll get on for you in a second. Just say that the first beer release is our night until 7 a.m. upload. And we also released European Out as well. Check out those two videos if you would like to do that. Right, so we'll turn off webcam. And I'm going to begin uh, with the centering temperatures. So the CT is currently sitting at 6.7. Uh, for Ju uh, for June so far, that's around three degrees above average. That's provisional to yesterday, the 16th. So it has been a very warm first half to June, to, to say the least, a properly hot first half to June. That's going to edge down now. Uh, from around now onwards, that will start to ease down. Uh, the the weather will be cooling over the over the coming uh, few days. So uh, that will drop down into the 15s, I think through next week but i think it's going to be an above average june the only question is how above average is it going to be means of a gfs upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks on at portsmouth today so red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for uh portsmouth we're starting off uh, above average still at the moment. We're in the process of cooling things down, but for the time being, the upper air temperatures are still uh, a bit above average. They'll be dropping close to average as we go uh, into the next few days. And then into next week, actually, they go a little bit under average, which is something we haven't seen uh, for quite some time. They're just staying generally, you know, around average, not particularly uh, warm by any means, not particularly cold either, just very close to average. There are one or two hot outliers here for the last. Uh, days of, of June, but overall looking, looking rather cool actually to, to average really uh, with those upper air temperatures once we get the next uh, day or two out of the way. Lots of precipitation to come as well, so initially of course as we bring things down to about thunderstorms, uh, so, so still risk of storms uh, today, t tomorrow for example. And um, then there's going to be more heavy rain, possibly with thunder on Sunday uh, as well. And after that, we're in sort of Atlantic-driven type weather with showers or longer spells of rain coming in uh, from the west. So just generally quite an unsettled look to that for the rest of June now. Uh, and, and overall pretty, uh, pretty co much cooler. I'm going to go too far and say it's going to be a big drop in temperature this because I think... Uh, you know, when the sun is out, it's, it's going to feel okay. It's not going to feel cold. But certainly compared to what I've been used to through the first half of June, it is going to be quite a bit cooler, I think. Temperature anomalies uh, from the 17th to 25th of June are going to be below average, a little bit below average anyway, for Ireland and uh, for the UK. And the precipitation anomaly from the 17th to 25th of June, wetter than average for England and Wales, average to a little bit drier than average for Scotland and Ireland. Latest wind flow map from earthnollschool.net shows that uh, winds are in from a northerly direction to the west of us today. So we're changing the wind direction, we're changing the air mass, but we do still have uh, southerly, hot southerly winds just to our south and southeast. So this is like a transitional period that, that we're in. Um, it's one of the reasons why the weather has started to become uh, volatile as we're beginning to cool things down. We've got this contrast, this clash of air masses, but definitely cooler uh, to our north and west with winds in from a uh, northerly direction. The heat is still close enough to us, though, to our south to still be pushing in uh, heavy showers and thunderstorms at times in the next day or so. Right, OK, so this is how the uh, UK Met is looking at the moment. So we've got this thundery trough extending up from the south, meeting these cooler winds coming in from uh, the northwest, from Weather Outlook, as co of course. It stays unsettled into the weekend. This is Sunday. We blow pressure to our south and southwest, bringing further showers, if not possibly some longer spells of rain. And then into the open next week, again, low pressure is never far away, uh, bringing further showers, if not some uh, longer spells of rain. Uh, to uh, up to the middle of next week, just begin to get a bit of a ridge coming in from the Azores High Bend, but still quite cool and showery with winds in from uh, the north. And uh, as far as we go with the uh, UK Met up the weather outlook, is to Thursday, 24th of June, when uh, again we're trying to extend up this ridge from the Azores High. So the Azores High trying to make a move and turn us drier 
and warmer again. But overall, still probably quite shy. I think it's still a bit of a drop in the 500 millibar flow there, especially more northern and eastern areas. So probably still quite showery and probably still rather cool as well. Okay, should put webcam back on uh, for this. Let's do that, shall we? Right, okay, so this is how the GFS uh, midnight run was looking. Again, low pressures to our south southwest, pushing up rain from uh, the south uh, through weekend and into uh, next week. Again, we keep low pressure very close to the country and will bring further showers if not longer spells of rain. Through the middle of next week, you get this ridge building into the south and to the southwest that will start to try and settle things down anyway, but low pressure is still up to the north northwest, will bring spells of rain through there. And into the second half, of next week. Again, low pressures coming in of the Atlantic with the suggestion of further showers, if not possibly some uh, longer spells of rain in places. So looking quite unsettled really with GFS midnight run all the way up to day 10. There's further low pressure around the country. That's the 27th of June. Further low pressure around the country will bring further showers, if not longer spells of rain and probably quite cool temperatures around that area of low pressure too. In the more extended range, uh, the GFS uh, uh, midnight run starts to build up a ridge to our east and northeast, pull up some warmer winds from the south. So the GFS midnight run starts to turn things warmer right in the very last days of June. It doesn't last all that long, and by the end of the GFS uh, midnight run, which today gets us to the 3rd of July, we begin to move low pressure back in from the Atlantic uh, again, really. This is how 6Z is looking. Again, low pressure is to our south, bringing more showers, if not longer spells of rain, uh, into the weekend. And in the early part of next week, has low pressure to our east, high pressure to the west, and winds are in from a northerly direction. So, so cool and showering through the early part of the next week. Into the middle of next week, again, uh, the 6Z is starting to bring low pressure in from the north this time. Uh, so particularly south in the north, a little bit dry perhaps in the south, but certainly much, much more mixed compared to what we have had through the first half of June, definitely. Running up towards uh, day 10, again, low pressure is around the country, bringing further showers, if not longer spells of rain, and quite unsettled up to day 10 under an area of low pressure. So, yeah, that looks pretty mixed as well. In more extended range, over 6 it does start to, again, build up some higher pressure through the closing days of June. So we begin to turn drier and warmer there in the last days uh, of the month. I'm not going to go overboard and say it's heat wave, but certainly turning drier and warmer in the last two or three days of the month before low pressure then starts to come back in again by the time we get through to the 3rd of July, which, of course, is the end of the GFS uh, today. Right, so that's GFS. Let me have a GM is really if you're enjoying this video, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. This is how the uh, GM is looking again on Sunday. Low pressure is to our south southwest, throwing up bands of rain uh, from the west and from the southwest. That low pressure right over top of the country uh, on Monday, looking cool and unsettled. Low, uh, the low is there, right over the country again on Tuesday. We're pulling in quite cool winds from the north around that area of low pressure as well. We just keep the low sitting over the country throughout next week. So unlike the GFS, um, also the UK Met, which is like lifting pressure, to go to high pressure, but lifting pressure a bit through uh, the middle and second half next week. Unlike those, uh, the GM just keeps that low pressure stuck over the top of the country through next week. And there'll be showers and longer spells of rain, of course, rotating around that area of low. Um, and stays unsettled and cool all the way up to day 10, which is 27th of June. So below, deepest to north of Scotland, and uh, we pull in probably a cold front, pushing a cold front from the northwest, bring a band of rain, and also then uh, we've got much cooler northwesterly winds following along behind. If we have a look at the upper air temperatures. Uh, you see that they are looking pretty cool there, actually, by day 10, with a GM on that northwesterly. Then we've got the ECM, uh, looks like this. So uh, it has updated today, finally. We didn't get it yesterday, uh, of course. So uh, ECM uh, on Sunday. Again, low pressure is over to our southwest of the country. Rain bands pushing northwards and eastwards into the early part of next week. Again, the low is sat over the country, bringing further showers, if not some longer spells of rain. Middle to second half of next week, um, again, we begin, we begin to lift the heights a little bit. Not going to high pressure, but the low does sort of move away and we start to raise the heights a bit. So the showers should ease off uh, and the long spells of rain should ease off through the middle, second half of next week with that 
uh, and it should start to turn uh, a little bit uh, drier. Although, as you get towards day 10, uh, actually we pull winds back in from the north and um, probably quite showering uh, and relatively cool with that as well. That's how long it's get to day 10, which is sunny 27th of June. Low pressure is close to the country. Winds are in from a relatively cool uh, northeast direction. So it looks quite unsettled, uh, particularly for the south, actually, a little bit drier further north. This is the precipitation type forecast based on that, uh, well, precipitation forecast uh, based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So showers of them thundery in uh, the south and the southeast over the next uh, few hours into tomorrow. Some torrential rain gets into southeast. Not extending all that far north, but there comes some very big thunderstorms there in the southeast uh, corner through tomorrow, particularly affecting East Anglia and southeastern parts of England. Uh, that all gets out into the North Sea, and then we go into another spell of very wet weather as we move through towards uh, Sunday. So Saturday's rather drier, Sunday very sp uh, very uh, widespread spell of wet weather with this one. Uh, virtually all areas get a, get a nice soaking on uh, Sunday, if that's what you're waiting for, for your garden. And then into next week, of course, with the low uh, stuck over country, the showers just keep rotating around the area of low pressure. So there will be plenty of showers and longer spells of rain through uh, next week before we start to move low pressure in from off the Atlantic with spells of rain um, always coming and going. So pretty mixed, pretty unsettled all the way up to day 10 there with that ECM run. Uh, right, OK, let's have a look at the options on the table uh, within the ECM ensembles. Here they are. This is going to get us, uh, this is day 10. Uh, this is going to get us to the 27th of June from the Icelandic Met. Office. I have 19 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to our north and west, low pressure over and just to our south, west and west. So, of course, unsettled with this, uh, jet shifting south was so, um, yeah, it, it looks unsettled and it looks pretty cool that as well. 15, including the control and the operational run, have the high pressure pulled out to our west. We send the jet stream wind flow on a northwest southeast alignment with low pressure to our east northeast. So quite cool uh, with that one, with showers, uh, particularly so for northern and eastern areas at day 10. 11, looking a little bit drier and warmer with a ridge extending in from the Atlantic into the UK and to Western Europe as well. And then six with high pressure to the north and around the high pressure winds are coming in from an easterly direction. That should be a drier and uh, warmer scenario uh, with that. Because only six are doing that. Although there is the 11 just here as well that, that does have some drier, warmer weather on off. But I think the majority option is relatively cool and showery uh, at day 10 in the ECM on summers. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 2nd of July. 13 members of the ECM on summers will have high pressure just to our east. And around high pressure winds will be coming in from the east direction. Should be a lot of dry and quite warm weather with that. 11 uh, have low pressure though over top of the country, completely opposite. Uh, so that would be cool and unsettled. 10 have high pressure away to the northwest, but just extending a ridge down the west side of Europe should be a little bit drier and quieter with that one. Uh, another 10 here have a ridge from the west extending into western parts of Europe. Low pressure is to the north, so that should be. Uh, that should be a uh, little bit on the showery side, actually, despite the ridge uh, that's trying to uh, continue to extend through the country. I think uh, actually the jet stream is probably dipping through, so that could actually be quite cool and showery. And then seven have high pressure just to our east and southeast, low pressure away to the northwest. That's probably going to be driest and warmest in the south, a little bit cool and showery, though, up in the northwest. So it's a mixed bag, and it certainly looks like the rest of June and possibly into the open of July. Today on the model output is a little bit more changeable than we've had for quite some time. Uh, CFSV2 finally, and then we're done. So it's a 500 millibar height spread out into wheat peers. The first wheat peer takes from 17th, 23rd of June. The coming week we have low pressure uh, down the western side of Europe bringing showers or long spells of rain. High pressure is pulled out into the middle of the North Atlantic. Quite cool and unsettled then in the week ahead. All change on what we've had for June so far. Week two is the 24th uh, to the 30th of June. Low pressure again away to the northwest. High pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. Winds are coming in from uh, northwest to southeast along the jet stream too. So again, we're looking at showers, if not possibly some uh, longer spells of rain. That and quite cool. Week three is going to be the first through to the 7th of July. High pressure builds up from the southwest. Uh, low pressure is to the north. Jet stream is pushing northwards as well. That should turn drier 
and uh, warmer from the south. Uh, but not for long. Week 4 is the 8th to the 14th of July. We pull the heights back out to the west again. Have a trough low pressure digging in over Scandinavia. And winds go back in to the north. So that's turning cooler and more showery there into the second week of July. Definitely looks a lot more mixed than we've had, doesn't it? Uh, so, uh, so yeah, a, 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 a mixed and cooler second half of June, possibly lasting into early July, uh, looks like is what we've got coming up. Uh, over the next couple of weeks. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a special like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Tell friends, family, everybody else to subscribe. Thank you so much. And drop a comment and let us know uh, what you think about this and all of our videos. Uh, and we're done. So, uh, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your uh, Thursday. Tomorrow, we've got Jamie Friday coming up. Have a 10 to 14 day as well. Don't get 7 a.m. Uh, upload. So, plenty of videos coming up tomorrow. But for uh, this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday.